Visuals are an essential component of many documents you produce as an engineer. In part one of this series on visuals, we will introduce the four main categories of them and explain where to use them. Visuals play a number of roles in a document. The use of visuals not only helps in explaining complicated concepts, but also makes the document look aesthetically pleasing. While producing engineering documents, you will likely need items from four broad categories of visuals. These are graphs and charts, tables, realistic renderings or images, and schematics. Let's review each category and discuss where you can use them in your documents. The first category of visuals is graphs. Graphs and charts are, in simple words, an illustration of a relationship or trend that is not easy to understand simply with numbers. Graphs distill information so that it can be understood in a single glance. For example, if you're conducting an analysis of the modes of transportation used in a city, you can use a line graph to represent the trend, as shown here on the screen. Graphs in engineering documents are used when representing change in the value of a variable over time or with respect to another variable, depicting the relationship of correlation or causation between two variables, highlighting trends in the data. The next category of visuals is tables. Tables present detailed information and categorize data with the help of rows and columns. The data presented in a table may or may not follow a statistical trend. For example, if you're comparing the properties of two materials, you can use a table to do so. Tables in engineering documents are used when presenting the exact values of data is important. Visualizing data in the form of a graph or chart is not possible or two or more variables are being compared, and it is essential to show how individual values compare with each other. The next category of visuals is realistic renderings. This category includes real images of existing places, sites, and structures, or detailed renderings of them. For example, if you are assessing the condition of a bridge, your report would include real images to show the structure's actual condition. Realistic renderings or images in engineering documents are used when you want to show what the object or place looks like in real life, you are highlighting minute details of real objects, and this cannot be accomplished using diagrams, or you're presenting the final outcome of a project and want to show the results. The final category of visuals is schematics. Schematics are detailed drawings of structures and workflows. These include project workflows and timelines, mechanical drawings, and prototypes created while working on a project. For example, if you're constructing an apartment building, you will use schematics to show exact dimensions and details of the structure. Schematics in engineering documents are used when explaining how a system works by indicating various steps of the process, identifying different parts of a mechanical system or structure, or depicting the workflow of a project. Visuals are an essential part of any engineering document. Using graphs, tables, realistic images, and schematics helps your reader understand the information and also makes the document interesting. In the rest of this series, we will explain in more detail the specific uses of each category of visuals and how to create them. Stay tuned!